Hello, Leo viewers. Um, last reading I did, I was getting that there was some kind of third party situation. There is some kind of karmic, but she, he or she is not really a threat. Um, it seems like a toxic karmic, but with you, it seems like it was just love at first sight. So that's something you guys are getting through. Um, I try to remain unbiased. The cards say whatever they want to say. This could be about love. This could be about career, finances, um, just, you know, whatever it is for this energy group. I try to keep myself out of it. So let's see what is currently going on. What do you guys need to know right now? I feel like someone needs to be more mindful with finances. Someone's kind of sad right now and they're spending more money than what's coming in is the message I got for someone. You need to be a little bit more mindful of finances or it's going to be a struggle. Or you might also be getting a big chunk of money in. You maybe maybe just got a big chunk of money or you're about to get a big chunk of money in, like an inheritance or something like that. And it's saying really be mindful of that because... It could go quickly. You might not even realize it. It's like you just, you know, buy a couple things here and there. And before you know it, that that money that was meant to go towards, you know, land or a home or a new car or whatever ends up just being blown on little things here and there. It really adds up quick. So that's a message for someone, like for a couple sp specific people there. Really be mindful of your finances. Seven of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. Three of Cups, okay. The Queen of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. The Hermit. This part actually feels like almost like a personal reading to me. I think this is just for one or two or maybe even three people. I think one of them is a woman that's in her, I'd say, 40s or 50s. Um, you might be someone's... I'm just going to get into this just really quick, and then I'm going to get into the main reading for the rest of, every, rest of you guys, because I think this is just specific just for a couple of you. But... Someone's being reminded to remember what, how far you've come and, and how much you've been building, Son of Pentacles, how much you've been working towards your goals. Um, and it's basically a reminder. I feel like there was just a breakup or you're ignoring someone that you know is bad for you. Someone toxic is trying to drag you back in and you're really trying to cut and clear that person. And look into my cut and clear spells that I did. I did one, um, it was a few months ago, but it's on my page. Email me and I can send you the link to it. And it's, it's free. You can just do it alongside me. But, you know, anyway, for, for some of you, it, it's, it's like you're cutting and clearing this person. You're, it's hard. There's been silence between you two, but you're kind of accepting. Maybe there's been silence for a while, but you're finally accepting that, you know, this person isn't coming back or they are trying to come back, but you're, you know that you deserve more. You're basically, basically the energy I get is you're trying to be strong. Whatever the situation is, you're trying to be strong. You're trying to move on from this person you know they're going to keep ghosting you or keep talking down to you and not appreciating you. And you've worked too hard for that. You've come too far in life. You've done too much healing to throw that all away just for one toxic person. And you're being reminded that you did the right thing because some of you, I think for this woman that's, that's um, you know, not old. You're not, I wouldn't say you're old, but I get, I get someone that's maybe in, in her 40s. I think that's one specific person, 40s or 50s and or even older possibly, and you're like, well, you know, I, I went through so much for this person. Like, am I going to end up alone? Am I going to find my life partner? Like, 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 there's like this fear. It's like familiarity. Maybe, maybe you guys were married in the past or something of that sort, and you're like, well, if I let go of this, like, you know, what's going to happen? Like, am I going to, you know, I, you don't want to be alone. And, and your spirit guides are just kind of reminding you that there are better times ahead for one thing, three of cups. Um, celebration, fun, you know, going out and living your best life. And I think it's it's also just saying like you did the right thing. Even though it's hard and it's painful, you you know intuitively that you did the right thing by letting this person go, by being strong. Um, even though it hurts, even though they, they, they're tugging at your heartstrings energetically, you know that it's time to do a cut and clear ritual on this person and live your best life. And I think they were also holding you back a little bit. Like you couldn't really have have fun and like be your true self. It's like they stopped you from living your life. And I think that's another thing that they want to remind you about with the loneliness is I think a lot of you have been so 
for, for this for this group, and like I said, this is just a specific message for two or three of you that I'm channeling here, and then I'm going to get into the main reading for the rest of you Leos, so just bear with me here. Um, but, but for this specific group, it just feels like, for these two or three people, or however many people it is, it, it just feels like there's, yeah, there's that fear of being alone, but I think that your spirit guides also want to remind you that, you know, you've also been alone by choice because you've been waiting for this person to get it together. You've been putting all your energy into this person. Maybe you haven't wanted to leave the house because it just, it makes you sad. Like you just want to go out with this person. You don't want to be by yourself. Or maybe like you don't have friends in the area or something of that sort where it's like, you know, like maybe you've just been, you've been kind of like become a hermit or a home buddy a little bit, like kind of in this stagnant energy. So it's like, well, you can't meet people when you're not going out and giving yourself the opportunity to meet new people and step out of your comfort zone and make new friends and make, you know, find a potential partner. Um, and I know it's hard when you're sad, it's really hard to get out of that energy. It's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to you know, go out and be social when you, you just want to sleep. It's, it's hard. I understand that, but it's like, you can even join, maybe even online, start, you know, looking into community events, just something to get you out of the house, something to get, you know, so you can meet new people so you can have fun and live your best life. Your, your spirit guides are basically saying like, you know, pretty much saying like, Hey, don't blame us. Like we're not the reason you're alone. You're, you're alone because you're, you're holding on to a stag you've been holding on to stagnant energy you've been holding on to a person that just doing the same old same old again and again and keeping you down and keeping you from living your best life you know you're you're alone because you know it's what is that saying it's like god helps those who help themselves it's kind of like you know like your spirit guides want you to have love but if you're not putting yourself in a position where you can meet people and find that love and step out of your comfort zone there's not a whole lot that they can do you know what i mean um and it's not to blame you or anything like that. It's just, you know, I try to remain unbiased. The cards, the spirits come through. The cards say what they want to say. So, you know. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's basically also just saying, like I said, you're, you're doing the right thing by being strong and letting this person go. Because this person has just been keeping you stagnant and keeping you numb and keeping you tied down for too long. You've just been going in circles and it's, it's really, it's it's good that you're being strong. It's good that you're realizing what, that you've, you've been through too much. You fought too hard to give all your energy up to this person any longer. You've already wasted so much time on this and it's time to really get out there and have fun and meet people, make new friends, live your best life. Being this queen of wands energy. Yeah. Leo energy right there. Uh, charismatic, passionate, fun, adventurous, uh, just fiery see that energy just whatever what does this look like to you I mean that looks like a peacock you know to me but what is you know use your intuition too when when reading the cards like do you notice any signs back here do you notice do the pillars mean anything to you the sunflower up there is that a sunflower yeah it's a sunflower the um the leaves the crown the the dress you know what I mean just you know channel look at that energy what does that mean to you this is the energy your spirit guides are trying to get you into because this person is has numbed you this person has been the psychic vampire in your life almost and eight of pentacles it's you're going to be studying something I feel like you're going to be going to school you're going to be studying something or you're going to be pursuing something you're passionate maybe maybe this is how you meet people too maybe pursuing a hobby or something that interests you you're going to, that's how you're going to meet people. Cause maybe in the past you met people like at bars or clubs or, or wherever. And it's like, you can make good friends that way. No, I'm not saying you can't, but you know, you might make deeper connections if you, if you like, you know, uh, rock climbing and you, and you, you know, go join a rock climbing group or something or, you know, crocheting or, uh, art or music, you know, guitar, or whatever, you know, like meet, meet people with similar interest in you that are going to help you grow and help you be the person that you want to be, you know, get in this passionate energy and take back control of your life. Um, I do feel like even though there might be some inexperience, like, cause it, it, maybe it's something that you've been wanting to study for a while, but you've been so upset over this person or just this person has been taking so much of your energy that you've been too drained to pursue the hobbies you want to pursue. So I, cause I do feel like at least one of the hobbies is something you might not be experienced with, but it's like, just go for it. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to be good at guitar overnight or good at music overnight or good at, um, you know, 
exercise or rock climbing or whatever it might be it could be a million things art you know and with art with artists too like just remember that there are so many artists out there who can't paint you know what I mean it's not all about painting like mu musicians are artists people that make clothing are artists people that make jewelry are artists people that design tarot and oracle cards online are artists people that um you know people that architectures are are artists you know what I mean it's like there's so many different forms of art so even if you're inexperienced it's just saying go for it you know have fun live your best life you might be in a hermit energy for a while because you're going to be so focused on this and you're going to be so excited about this new path these new hobbies this new new career could be going to school but it could also be something more untraditional um like starting an apoth apothecary or, or even getting into tarot, oracle, psychic readings, you know, whatever. It's just kind of going down your own path. And even though it's scary and you feel like, what if I'm alone? You're actually not going to feel alone because you're going to be so excited about this path that it's going to take up. It's like all the energy you're giving to this person is going to end up going towards this instead. And it's going to make you happy. It's going to be like this. You're just going to be passionate about it. You're going to be excited about what you're doing, be it hobby, be it school, be it untraditional career, whatever. It's, it's just eight of pentacles, page of swords energy. It's like, you're going to be focused on it and it's going to take your mind off this person and you're going to be happy with that. So let's see what other messages there are for the rest of the collective. And, it, and if that's your reading and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is uh, right below in the, the description box below, dragonenchantress at aol.com. My prices are below too. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My donation links are also below. Um, let's see here. And please subscribe if it resonates. But let's see what the, what's the real reading for the rest of you guys. Make your move, green light, fast moving energy. Ooh, sadness, chaos. Taking it slow. Mental instability. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Adventure honeymoon vacation, okay. The energy I feel from this and full disclaimer, I am not a licensed psychologist or therapist or anything like that. I am not able to make mental health diagnoses. So this is, you know, I'm not responsible for what you do or do not do with this information. But this is a very bipolar energy. I cannot say whether this person has bipolar disorder. I'm not qualified to say that. But this person is very... So there's, there's, there's could be two different, two different stories here. For some, some of you are thinking about diving into something... And it's like this person might not be quite ready. They might be going through some sadness and some instability that they need to heal. So you might need to slow down just a little bit and kind of they need to be moving. Like if you guys are developing a relationship, they should be talking to you. But, um, you know, if you're thinking about going for someone that just got out of a relationship, it's like just kind of ease into it. Otherwise, there it's going to be overwhelming basically is what I feel for them. Um, the other the main scenario that I get, though. That was just for a couple people. I think the main scenario, though, is that you're dealing with someone who's kind of hot and cold, bipolar energy, because it's like make your move, green light. Like when they want you, they want you. It's passionate. It's fiery. It's it's chaotic, like tower moment kind of energy, fast moving energy. But then it's like then they're sad. It's like someone that's just not very mentally stable. And then they're like, OK, wait, I got to take it slow like get to know get to know each other it's like kind of there needs to be a balance here whether this is you moving too fast or them you guys are on different levels someone's moving too fast someone's moving too slow you guys need to meet halfway um for some of you though this is someone that's like almost it's almost like a bipolar kind of energy where it's like you they ghost you and then they come back around and then they're all over you they're loving they're they're emotional and then you know you don't hear from them and it's just like it's it's too much for you it's too much to put your heart through that because you're literally causing yourself trauma and I know it's hard because you know and the angels are around you 14 it, I got I saw four 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 but um anyway you know it's like you're literally causing yourself trauma and I'm not saying that to blame you guys it's like you love who you love it's it's difficult sometimes but it's just it's hard because 
it's just it's it's difficult because I feel like like you're fighting with yourself too. You're like, I want to give into love. I want to be happy, but you, maybe it's not with the right person. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's someone. This person is not stable enough. Even if they're good for you in the future, they're not good for you right now. Is kind of what I feel. They're just they're too back and forth. And it's almost like, because it's like you start opening your heart to them. You start really opening up. And then they disappear again. And this could be, hmm. This could also just be them processing things with a karmic. Because it's like, so last reading I, get, I did, I got that the karmic, if this is a third party, then I could take it to be like they're processing things. Like even though they don't love the karmic, even though they, they do have love for you, Maybe they do still need to get through this. Like, maybe they just left the karmic and you're like, okay, cool, we can be together right now. And they're like, no, wait a second. Like, I left the karmic, but I still need a few months to to heal from that, to gather myself. You know what I mean? Like, they still might need some time. They might need to take it slow. And they should be in your life. Don't get me wrong. Like, you guys should be in each other's lives. Like, they should be consistent with you. There should be communication. But I'm just, it's it's saying you might be a few steps ahead. Some of you might be a few steps ahead of them where you're like, let's move in together. Let's, let's do this. Let's do that. And they're like, wait, not quite yet. Not quite ready for that, but almost. <laughs> um, so kind of take it slow a little bit. And then for others, like I said, it's just like, they're kind of hot and cold with you. Someone needs to choose their words wisely though, and plan the approach. There needs to be a, a balance needs to be brought to this connection is basically what I get to lead to that adventure honeymoon vacation a balance needs to be brought to this connection shyness fear of rejection yeah true love potential life partner hmm. some of them are also just dealing with their own insecurities and their own pain and their fears so it's not it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just kind of, it's just basically like you guys need to meet on this level, on each other's level. This might be your person, but it might just not be, I don't want to say it's not the right timing because it's like you guys can still talk, but it's like saying that you might be a few steps ahead. Like maybe you guys are dating and like they've officially gotten the divorce or officially ended things with the karmic and you're like, let's move in together. Let's do this and this. And they're like, hang on a second. Like I just... Like, maybe they know that they're going to marry you, that they're going to spend their life with you. So they're just like, wait a minute, give me a few months to be single. <laughs> like, give me just a little bit of time. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's like they just kind of need that, that balance. They might also have their own shyness and their own fears of rejection, their own insecurities and pain that they just need to process and kind of deal with. They just kind of need to ease into things. But um, ultimately, I feel like this does lead to traveling together, to home, to commitment. Um, just you guys need to both choose your words wisely and kind of plan the approach here. You know. Cold, guarded, distrusting, fear of commitment, clubs, parties, social life. Some of them do kind of like want to just have fun for a little bit. Oof. Codependency, sex, overthinking, choose a path. Okay. We have choose a path right here. I think there's a message here for someone not to sabotage this out of fear. For some of you, it's you that's, like, kind of having, like, the commitment issues a little bit. And it's saying, like, don't sabotage it out of fear. Don't overthink it. That's just a message for a couple of you. Choose a path. You know what I mean? You can live the single life or you can live the relationship life. I mean, it doesn't mean you can't party or have fun if you're in a relationship. It doesn't mean that. But some of you are, like... You like it's like devil energy, like toxic patterns that you gotta let go of and not self sabotage this, and you gotta choose that path. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, 
I ultimately just feel whether it's you or them, I just feel like there's some kind of imbalance here. Like you guys both want a future together. You both want that commitment, but this person might just have some healing to do first, or you might have some healing to do first. And you know, there's also that message like, don't let that turn into, don't let, if there's like a period apart where you guys are, are both healing, like still communicate and still be in each other's lives and build up. Even if you need to take it slow, there still should be some dates going on, some, you know, communication, consistent energy between you two. But like, don't, someone needs to just avoid devil energy though too. There's a balance, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't go off and just do whatever and just, you know, be like, screw it. I'm single. Then if you're, if you like, like they just, it's almost like someone might sabotage this where it's like your person might be like, Oh, I'm done with the karmic. And you, be like, you might be like, cool, let's move in together. Cool. Let's, let's, um, cool. I love you. Let's do this. And they, your person might be like, wait, like, I just, can we just, can we talk? Can we communicate? I do want a future with you, but I need some time to build this with you. And some of you might be like, get your feelings hurt and be like, screw it. I'll live the, I'll live the single life. Then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, you're going to go have sex. Like, I don't know, maybe not have sex to make yourself feel better, but maybe, but like, there's just some kind of devil energy here, like codependency or addiction or, or like partying or things to take your mind off this person. And it's like, don't hurt your own feelings. Like this person isn't telling you, no, this person is telling you, Hey, be patient with me. I just went through a trauma. I need to find myself a little bit. I need to deal with this pain instead of just jumping into something immediately. So be patient with your person just as long as there's communication there, as long as there's consistency there. You know what I mean? Like you guys should still be talking like daily or, or every few days at least, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be ready to, to, you know, say I love you or get married in the next year, right? Or right away or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, and this could also be, this, this could be, uh, your energy or your person's too. But I basically just get a strong need for balance. So I hope that all makes sense. I know it's kind of a chaotic energy here, but if you'd like a private reading, just email me. Um, like I said, I would just say, you know, find that balance, find, cause someone's moving too fast and someone's moving too slow. And there's also the, someone here is, there's a, a potential to sabotage things. There's a potential to get their feelings hurt. And this could be you. It could be that you need some time and that your person might take it the wrong way and, and think that you're rejecting them. If that makes sense. So you know, take it as it resonates, but basically you guys need to communicate well and clearly and be on the same page and kind of meet each other halfway is, is what I feel here basically. Otherwise there's a potential for someone to sabotage. So you guys need to kind of, and basically just someone could get their feelings hurt and you need to, that's why you really need to be mindful of how you communicate because it's like this person could ask you to move in and you could be like, Hey, I'm not ready for that. And they could take it as rejection and be like, fine, whatever. And go, you know, or vice versa. This could be this could be you wanting to move in and you getting your own feelings hurt. It's it's you know take it how it resonates re resonates resonates resonates. <laughs> um, maybe someone's name is Resume. I don't know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I mean there is there is true love here. There is adventure honeymoon. There is a home here. There is eventually living together here is what I feel. But in the meantime, you guys really need to find that balance and make sure that you communicate well and that you guys are, are both stable, you know, that king of queen and queen of pentacles kind of energy, you know, or it could be male, male and female, female either way, but just have that consistency and that sta stability and meeting each other halfway and that, that clarity that needs to be brought in here to make, to, so you guys can, you know, ease onto this path smoothly. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below the description box. 
or in the description box, I mean, it is Dragon Enchantress at AOL.com. Um, I do paid private readings and um, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below. Please subscribe if it resonates too. Thank you.